Hi y'all, welcome back to the channel for this late, 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 late shave. The day got away from me, uh, just been bogged down with work, honeydew list, things got out of control. I need to shave and phew, I got some things going on early tomorrow morning so I need to get this done. It's like 11.10 at night. So we're gonna do a quick shave, no aftershave, just gonna put some balm on, but continuing with Sample September, we're gonna use Kronos, which is a Van Ule soap. This is a sample that was sent to me by a viewer, Dan, thank you very much. We're gonna try this for the first time. I believe this has menthol in it, so that'll be a cool shave. We are going to use the King C Gillette razor, and inside for the first time, we're shaving with a, <gasps> Voskhod blade. We're gonna see how those are. We whipped it up inside the fine bowl and we're using the wonderful tie dye. Uh, this is the Grand Slam brush. That's a badge or not. So we'll just get some water on the face. No beating around the bush. We're gonna get to shaving because I have early morning Lots of things I need to get done, and uh, I'm tired, I'm beat. We just had a lot going on today. Have any of you tried to order a desk? Man, there is just not a desk to be found anywhere. I tried, I had some members of the family try, and we found one, my mother-in-law was able to find one, so that came in finally. So my daughter has a place to do her home school work. That's one of the things on the list to do tomorrow is I gotta put it together. So that way it's all set up, ready to go for school before the end of the weekend. And I'm trying not to do anything on Sunday. I want to enjoy football Sunday. All right, there is a menthol in this. It feels good. Uh, I don't know if there's a really a scent I mean, I'd, I'd have to look it up. I don't know what the scent would be. Yeah, it says menthol shaving soap right on it, but I'm not sure what the scent is. I'm not picking up a specific scent. I smell the menthol, certainly feel the menthol. It's nice. Okay, let's get this shave going. Lost God. A lot of people swear by them, never use them. I could tell out of the gate. Nice blade, nice mild blade. I don't mind this at all. Very smooth. Yeah. You can usually tell around your sensitive areas, like around the mustache. Around the lips. You can tell how the blade will react because your skin is just used to it when you start shaving for a while. Your cheeks can handle just about anything. I mean, you can tell if there's a blade gap or, or a, a, you know, something off on your cheeks. But for me, there's sensitive areas around the lips. That's when I can confirm if a blade is really truly mild. Yeah, this shaves like butter. Real nice. Real nice. The head is uh, real mild. This is a good blade razor combo. Just had a shower. Just been working, sweating. So, took a shower this evening, second one for the day. I'll probably take a shower in the morning again just to wake up, you know. Because when your routine is off, then your whole day is off. So used to waking up, taking a shower before work. You know, sometimes you don't do that, and then you're like, oh man, I feel weird today. Everything is just different, right? Yeah, that was nice. 
residual slickness. Yeah, the menthol wasn't too bad. It wasn't overpowering. It wasn't strong like cryogen or anything like that. We have lots of lather though. So on the second pass, when there's no hair and it's just mainly uh, a few areas of stubble left, really feel the, the menthol. Oop. There's a hair from the brush. It's only like the second or third time that I'm using this brush, so still breaking in. It is badger. The one thing that uh, I don't like about this brush, and it's not necessarily this brush, I think it's just in general, is that down here, this is uh, slick. It's, you know, uh, like glass and uh, there's really no rubber it's it just goes right into the uh, the chrome and th there's really nothing to grab onto I mean it's it's good to fit in the palm of your hand and and apply but when it gets wet it is a little slippery in the hand other than that they're pretty good brushes got this online Grand Slam brushes nice badger knot too nice and Soft out of the gate, doesn't smell so bad. Yeah, nice menthol feel. There we go. It's not the best, it's not the worst. Serviceable leather, as some may say, works for me. All right. Very little feedback. I mean, you guys hear any going the other way? A little bit. Pretty much gone. Wow. Yeah, especially when you go across the grain sensitive areas. Definitely tell when you uh, have a mild blade. Oop, I think it bit me. We'll see. We'll see if I get a weaver. Nope, doesn't look like it. I felt it going a little too fast. Not easy talking and shaving at the same time, but it'd be kind of boring for you guys if I don't say anything. I have the next Shave America state ready to go. As promised, it's South Dakota. I just did North Dakota, but I just haven't had time to uh, to film it because those take a little bit of time, and I just didn't want to spend that amount of time tonight. But yeah, a little bit right there, a little bit. It did nip me. That's my fault. Certainly not the blade. You do have to be cautious with this razor. There is a little bit of overhang, just a little bit. Some have more, some have less. All right, let's do a quick rinse. Yeah, cold water, I feel that menthol. Right in the nose. Yeah, slickness left behind. A little bit on the shirt. All right. Take it to bed with me. Yeah. Very good. Right there in the bottom of the neck. Put a little bit of water back in the sink. Rinse the razor. Okay, 
and there we go. That took care of it. That took care of it. All right. Oh, looks like I got I opened it up a little bit. I hate when that happens. <sighs> Let me grab ye old. Alum block. thing a little bit well we're here must well do the whole face right I don't feel it anywhere else just right there yep that was my fault my fault let that dry all right so hopefully you guys are doing well and that the weekend is treating you good. Um, I don't know if you're a football fan, but you know, can't, the, the games are doing really well. Uh, I've, I've not been disappointed with the COVID that's going around and, and the, the lack of preseason and the, the difficulty of uh, trying to go through and practice and do all their tests. I mean, they're going through a lot. Some stadiums have limited fans. Ours didn't. And it won't for the next game either, but uh, it, it just, it gives me a sense of normalcy, you know, like football is a big following here in America. And uh, just to have that on the television, have all the sports back, you know, hockey's in the Stanley Cup finals and basketball's doing their tournament, baseball's doing well. It's a, it's a positive sign with these teams traveling even though they're, you know, kept in a bubble, that uh, sports is a major contributor to our society. It brings relief to people, and uh, I'm glad to see it back. Gives you a sense of hope, even though there's some states that are still escalating in COVID cases. There's still some countries that are being affected. You know, uh, it's like a second calling of the of the virus is spreading, but hopefully it will get under control. I don't know how soccer is going on or football in the UK. Some of you folks that follow other sports, you know, tennis is going on, golf is going on. Um, I don't know, the cricket's, you know, team sport, cricket going on. Someone let me know in the comments down below. All right, we just put on some coconut water Thayer's Witch Hazel just to give it a quick hit after we washed off the alum. And now we're going to finish up with some Duke Cannon Aftershave Balm. This is mentholated. We'll shake it down. Winter's not here yet. Hmm. Definitely smells menthol. Ooh right into the eyes. Yeah, get that menthol kick. Nice and relaxing. Quick shave, probably one of the quickest ones I'm gonna do. <laughs> but um, I wanna thank everybody for watching the channel. I would appreciate all the new subscribers. Oh, and to, uh, to John down in Rhode Island, thank you very much. Uh, for sending me the um, Autocrat, Autocrat coffee syrup. If, uh, if you watch my uh, Shaving America for Rhode Island, I talk about coffee milk, which is a very popular drink in Rhode Island, and I mentioned in the film that, uh, or the, the video, that I wanted to try it. And you can't get that coffee syrup anywhere around here. In fact, when he was searching, he said that you really can't find... Um, small size bottles. I mean, everything comes in this, these mega bottle sizes. Uh, but 
people down there like it. So I guess, you know, you get a 32 ounce bottle of syrup, uh, you know, people are going to use it. And you don't just, um, it, it's, it's a mixture like chocolate milk. You don't just use it for that. I mean, you could put it in coffee, which I did this morning, and you can uh, put it on top of ice cream. You could put it on top of uh, pastries or sweet treats. I mean, you could do a lot of things with it, just like you would chocolate syrup. In fact, if you're a fondue owner, you could probably do it in a fondue. <laughs> if any of you want to try that, you let me know how it goes. But uh, thank you for sending it. I'm enjoying it immensely. It wasn't necessary, but I do appreciate it. And it's uh, great viewers like you and all the rest of you guys that watch the channel and support me. And, um, I, I, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thanks. I really appreciate your following. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please become one. Uh, click the bell. Check back often. We're going to have some more videos for you. Next video, Shave America, coming up. We're going to do that in the next couple days. We're just going to let some growth come in and uh, we'll get that out to you guys. So take care. We'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.